back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a New Year's Eve inspired makeup look. Something really, really super glam. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my video today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Well, I already have my foundation on and I set that with a powder. Then going between the L'Oreal True Match and the Revlon Color Stay. I really like the Revlon Color Stay. I have used this for three years and I really, really like it. It's my go-to foundation and it does not cause my skin to break out, which is why I really, really like sticking to it. Where it's the winter, my skin has been a little bit drier even though I'm super oily my skin does get dry in the winter so I go between the L'Oreal true match because this is a matte foundation but it's not too too matte to where it doesn't really dry my skin out a lot and I really really like this it's also a full coverage foundation it's a little bit more liquidy than I like but I really really like it I set my face with the Revlon color stay pressed powder I am almost out of this this is my favorite pressed powder to use to set my whole face um, it's so affordable I think it's around um, eight or nine dollars at Walmart Walmart and it is a fragrance free. I get the color light pale as opposed to the translucent because the light pale really gives me a full coverage. The primer I used is a Smashbox Photo Finish primer before I put my foundation on. This is my go-to primer. I definitely recommend this if you have really oily skin. Also if you have really enlarged pores this really helps to minimize my pores as well and it does not really cake my makeup up too and I really really like this. I'm going to move on to my concealer and I normally take the Maybelline Instant Asian Wine Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers concealers to use and it's so affordable. It helps to conceal my dark circles and this does not crease really bad on me. It's very very matte when it dries and I love this concealer. I wanted to use something different today for my concealer so I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm putting a lot but I'm not really because I use this to highlight under my eyes and I also use this to prime my eyelids as well. I take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend that out. So now that that concealer is blended out, I take my Cody Airspun powder. This is my absolute favorite powder to set my concealer. I love it. I have tried high-end brands. I have tried other brands of translucent powder to set my concealer, and this is by far the best. It's around five or six dollars at Walmart. Product on, and you really want it to stay. And I always keep this powder underneath my eyes while I do my eyeshadow because I really want whatever fallout that I might have or whatever um, mistakes I might make, the powder will catch that. And so I really like to just keep this powder underneath my eyes while I do my eyeshadow. And when I'm done, I just sweep it away. We'll move on to my eyebrows. So I'm going to take um, this new brow product that I have, and it's by the brand Skin Cosmetics. So when I do bold eyes, I really don't like to fill my eyebrows in really, really bold. I just like to kind of go with the natural brow shape that I do have. Take the other end of this brow product, and it's just like a clear gel. Brows are done. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my contour and I'm going to take my Tarte Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. If you have pale skin, I definitely recommend this palette. The shade in this palette for the contour is perfect cool tone brown shade if you are pale like me. I've really been liking taking a really large fluffy brush when I contour. I don't like a really harsh contour just because I think it's unnecessary to warm up my face as opposed to do a really harsh contour line. I just like to kind of take that and warm up my face. Even though I didn't do a harsh contour, I do like to take my Revlon Color Stay Press Powder and clean up underneath my contour. I'm going to take that powder and just put very little underneath that. Before I move on to my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some blush. I'm going to take this really pretty pale pink blush and it's by this brand called Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. I have used it several times in my videos. It's the perfect natural blush. It doesn't give you too much color and it's not too harsh and if you're pale like me, it gives you just enough color. It just puts a little bit of color back into my face but it's not too harsh. Next I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow and I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette. To start off this look I'm going to go in with this, this orangey yellow shade right here and it's a really nice transition shade and it's a really good base. I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques blending brush. And next is kind of like a dark tan shade right next to that yellow and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Take like this dark maroon shade right here in the palette, put that on the very low outer corner. Take a large clean brush and I'm just going to kind of blend all of those colors together. Back 
at Cody Airspun Powder and I'm just gonna clean up just a little bit underneath the eyeshadow that I'm doing. That way when I'm done with it, I can just sweep it away and it looks a lot cleaner that way. I'm gonna go in with this shimmery maroon shade right here and I'm gonna focus that on my inner corner. Just pack that on. I'm not really gonna rub a lot, I'm just packing it on because I don't wanna rub the product everywhere because I just want it to be right in this spot. Go back in with that dark maroon shade that I put in my outer crease. I'm gonna take that and just blend it in with that shimmer shade. I go back in with that yellow shade and just kind of build that color up in my crease. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone next. The first shade in this Jaclyn Hill palette and a creamy shimmer shade. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. This really is a great brow bone highlight. Now I'm going to go in with the second shade of the palette and it's like a much lighter shimmer shade and I'm going to take that on this small brush and spray it and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. And I'm going to sweep this powder away. I have found a setting spray that does not break me out. That is the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. I really like this setting spray. It does not contain oil so far that I see on the back of this a dewy setting spray so I have oily skin. I use a lot of powders on my face. This is perfect so I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Before I start on my lower lash line I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight and I'm going to take the same contour and highlight palette that I use. And I'm going to go in with my Tarte um, contour and highlight and my Luxie highlighting brush and I'm just going to build that color up. What I've been using for my nose highlight, I really like to take really like to take the second shade in this Jaclyn Hill palette in a light creamy highlighting shade and I like to take that and I like to highlight my nose with that because the Tarte highlight is a little bit too dark for my nose. So I like to take that um, in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I just like to take just a little bit on my finger and I just like to put that on the end of my nose. That also and put it on my Cupid's bow. I zoomed you guys in just a little bit so you could see a little bit better and I'm gonna go ahead and start on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take that yellow shade and I'm gonna put that on a very small brush. I'm just going to smoke that out on my lower lash line. This is very bright at first, but I'm going to be using other colors with it. I'm going to go into that maroon shade that I used. It's like that dark maroon shade that I used. Take a smaller brush and blend all of that out. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm just going to coat my top lashes because I will be applying falsies as usual. I'm not putting a lot because I will be applying my falsies. The lashes I'm going to take are the Kiss Lashes. I love these lashes. They are so, so affordable. And these are in the style Demi Wispies. Slowly pop these on right next to my lash line. I'm going to be wearing eyeliner on my top lid, so I really want to put these as close to my lash line as possible. I think I'm going to put a little bit of black liner in my lower waterline. So I'm going to take my Smashbox Always On Gel liner and it's just a black liner. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom lashes. I'm going to do a bold lip because this is a very dramatic look. I'm going to go in with my Liquid Cat Suit from the Wet n Wild Collection. This is one of my favorite brands of liquid lipsticks. And this is in the color Goth Topic, a dark um, maroon color with a lot of brown undertones. It's super, super dark. So I think it would look really good with this eye look. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on. Here's my finished look for today. I really liked how this turned out. I really love the dark lipstick with this really pretty maroon eye. I think it really ties the makeup look together. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because it would help me out so, so much. And I will see you in my next video.